Okay, if I could have everybody's attention, I'd like to get started. I want to welcome everyone to the 2017 WCTV Clapper Awards, where we recognize not only our volunteers, but also all of the producers of the best WCTV programs over the past year. On behalf of uh, the WCTV staff, Joanna Perino, John Bernard, James Bernard, and Drew Bixler, I'd like to thank all of you for coming and sharing this event with us. Now, as I look over the room, I can see some of you have noticed the huge change that we've taken on the Clapper Awards this year. I know it's been like 26 years we've done the same thing, and some of you are looking around. I think you know what I'm talking about. And some of the other ones, don't tell them though, you know, mum's a word on that. But this podium last year was over there. I mean, that's like 20 feet. Who does that? I mean, come on. Jimmy Kimmel doesn't move his desk 20 feet. I mean, this is huge for us. 26 years, I've always been over there. Now I'm over here. It's huge. So if I misspeak or, or do something wrong, it's because I feel out of place on this side of the stage. So, Okay, so it, this has been a big year for us. When we started out the year, we had the opportunity to help CityLink Cable um, convert to an all-digital system. And that was huge for us. And we did all the public awareness and everything. And some of you might remember a little DTA video I may have done you know, way back when, too, a, a million times, probably. Uh, but then after that, we also launched a bunch of channels for CityLink. And then we also uh, launched our own high-definition channels. When that was huge for us, for HD, uh, uh, HD channels, for a public access system to have four HD channels, that's really huge, not only just for us, but also uh, nationwide. So not too many access centers have an opportunity to have HD channels uh, on their own cable system. So before we get started, we'd like to thank Tom Stugmeyer for taking our pictures tonight. Uh, winners, after you receive an award, please step aside over here by Tom in the black curtain. Uh, we want to take your picture for our website and Facebook page. We also hope you'll also post your own pictures of tonight's events uh, on your own Facebook page or WCTV's Facebook page, or tag Joanna too so she can share them uh, with everyone as well. Uh, before we also get started too, before it, I don't want to wait till the end, but let's give a large applause to the folks from Suprema who prepared the meal tonight. Okay, let's get started with our first award. Uh, we're going to kick off the awards presentation with our milestone awards, and which are given to producers of 100 programs or, or more. And our first uh, 100th show winner goes to the producer of Right and Left, produced by John Grom. And I believe Patty Haskins is here to receive for him. Nope. Patty is one of the guests on the show pretty much every, every, uh, every show, nearly. Yep, you can go right over to Joanna there. Every one of our programs, as has Brian Laubaugh, who is sitting there with me, but the one person, the constant in the program, and that makes it go is John Grom, and we're sorry he can't be here, but we accept this on behalf of him. Our next 100th show winner is Jim Kovacs, and he produces Inside Wadsworth. Well, it's taken me 14 years to do 100 shows. <laughs> So at this pace, I did a little math, and if my calculations are correct, in the year 2171, I will match polka time again right now. <laughs> Our next milestone award goes to the person who produced their 300th show, New Life Ministries, produced by Paul Blankenship. Yeah. Yep. And you've been on probably half of them. Yeah. 
I just want to say on behalf of Paul, I know he couldn't be here tonight, but a very special thank you to all of you producers and hosts that put in so many work and hours producing quality, wonderful television for the Wadsworth community. Again, special thank you. Our next milestone award goes to the person who produced their 400th show, Bible Readings and Hymns, produced by David R. Kenny. Bible Reads and Hymns um, really is a, uh, it's a joint venture. I want to thank uh, several people. Uh, one's John Matting. He has to record all of my readings. And uh, Andy Robinson, the director of the West Virginia School of Preaching, provides all the hymn music. And uh, Gospel Broadcasting Network provides all the video. And I want to just mention, it's available to anyone that has a tablet or internet access for free. And I really made it for people who may not be able to read as well or be able to see as well or maybe they're in a nursing home and they want to just hear the bible read to them and hear some gospel music so thank you very much for this award our next and last milestone award goes to which is a first for wctv a 1200th show milestone of course you know who that is gene kovac and joe gabrosik for producing their 1200th episode of Polka Time Again. What I want to make sure is that uh, Stan over here, you know, is going to be 100 years old here in a couple of weeks. And, and I thought, let's try to make that. So I'll see if I can do it. Well, we have been doing this for a long time. And I had a, a, a first tonight because finally we've got some folks from Canton here and if I have my way before they leave they'll they'll be taking accordion lessons <laughs> and now on to our clapper categories in your program is a list of all the nominees that you can follow along the clapper award winners were selected based on two criteria popularity from our online voting and quality the nominees were judged by a panel of media professionals on production quality, content, and their overall reaction to the show. The runner-up and honorable mention in each category will receive a certificate, and of course the winner will receive the beautiful WCTV Clapper Award. It looks better though than if you had words on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, our first category, best school event. Honorable mention goes to Sacred Heart School Veterans Day program produced by Annette and Mary from Sacred Heart School. Runner-up in the best school event category goes to Franklin School Pumpkin Decorating of 2016. Produced by Roger Havens. And now we'll watch uh, our large screen here for the Clapper Award winner. And that award goes to... 
Wadsworth City Schools striving to be the best, the summer STEM camp produced by Steve Grady and Nance Watts. What are you doing today? Yeah, so today we're doing an egg drop where the, we have eggs that look like stormtroopers. Uh, and the kids are building little devices to try to keep their stormtroopers safe during a crash. How'd it go, Vinny? It survived. Yeah. It's had fun, and that's the most important thing, learning about science, technology, engineering, and math. Thank you, too, for WCTV for doing all of the editing as we entered, uh, as we had this, they, they cleaned it up, but it was a great time. Thank you. category is best look into our schools and the honorable mention goes to overlook variety show produced by Nicole Schrader the runner-up for best look into our schools goes to Wadsworth City Schools striving to be the best the fine arts festival produced by Nance Watts and Steve Brady. And now we'll watch the screen for our Clapper winner in the best look into our schools category. Valley View Talent Show, produced by Jackie Boring. I don't know. What do you call a gardener with a beard? A Harry Potter. <laughs> Jackie Mooring. Oh, she's not able to be with us tonight, so we'll make sure she gets that award. The next category is Best School Performance, and the honorable mention goes to the WHS Spring Choir Concert, produced by the WHS Media Communications Class. The runner-up in that category goes to the Nutcracker Carol, produced by Sacred Heart of Jesus School, produced by Annette and Mary. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best School Performance category, and that award goes to Beauty and the Beast, produced by Terry Livers. performance took place the Barberton School trustee called me said my daughter's in this show I want you to come and videotape it for me you do videos right and I said yeah she said just put a camera in the back of the room and do it and I go I don't work that way I'm sorry <laughs> so I used five cameras and had to go to a couple of events because the audio went out but it was a lot of fun and I was reminiscing the back there with Tim Perry today first time I got a video camera in my hand my daughter was one year old I had to rent it for hundred and fifty dollars a day and that was 40 years ago so John, John, and John, John, Jan, and Joe, and Jay, and the Jays, and all Jays, and, and Roger, and Roger Pulse, he does a lot of work there too. But uh, keep up the good work, thank you. Our next category is Best Youth Production, and the honorable mention goes to Medina County Memorial Day Essay Contest, produced by Mike Kovac. The runner-up in that category goes to the Do's and Don'ts of Scouting, produced by Matt Henderson and the Boy Scout Troop 401. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Youth Production category, and the Clapper goes to... 
Studio streams at the Inn at Coleridge, produced by Deborah and James Kennedy. I just want to thank WCTV for uh, letting me oh, sorry. <laughs> she does this all the time. Uh, I want to thank uh, WCTV for letting my sister Deborah borrow the cameras, record, and edit, and for giving her earbuds so she can have to some on my how to notes. Um, I just want to thank you again. I want to thank Studio Strings for making this all possible. If you know anyone, or if you yourself want to learn about a string instrument, how to play it, wonderful people to work with and at very reasonable prices. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to say thank you to WCTV and uh, to James because without him and uh, Glenn and Gabriella, we wouldn't be able to have that show. So thank you very much. Our next category is Best Documentary, and an honorable mention goes to United Way E4 Youth Day of Action, produced by Mike Kovac. The runner-up in that category goes to the Jim Singleton Retirement Celebration, produced by the First Christian Church and Bob Parmalee. Now we'll watch our screen for the Clapper winner in the Best Documentary category. And that award goes to Wadsworth Business Today, the Wadsworth Brewing Company, produced by Danielle Rick. I'd just like to thank John and Joanna for letting me borrow cameras and showing me how to use them and uh, for the brewing company for making special accommodations, letting me come in there and record, and Harry Stark. Congratulations. Uh, the next uh, category is the best religious message and the honorable mention goes to Light from Above, number 253, when Jesus asked the questions, if you don't believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Produced by David R. Kenny. Runner-up in the best religious message goes to Dry Bones Come Alive, produced by the Mo Mosaic Church of Wadsworth, and Larry States is accepting it, he's a, if he's here. There he is. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Religious mes Message category, and that award goes to What Catholics Really Believe, Divine Mercy, produced by Tim Perry. Actually, God loves us so much that he sent his only son to suffer, die, and rise from the dead for our sins. That's the whole message of the gospel. That's the whole message of the Catholic Church. And that's the whole message of Christianity. This is really nice. I wasn't expecting this. Um, I want to thank John, John, and Joanna. They make it so easy for me. This is actually my 20th year, and I can't even believe I was 41 when I started doing this many years ago. And how about them Hoban Knights? Boo. 
huh? How about them Hoban Knights? But uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to share uh, what Catholics really believe and the fact that it's all about Jesus and uh, his love for us. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. The next category is Best Worship Service, and the honorable mention goes to the Trinity United Church of Christ. Is someone here to accept? Okay, we'll make sure they get that award. The runner-up is First Christian Church. Accepting is Bob Parmalee. And now for the Clapper winner in the best worship service, and that award goes to Mosaic Church Wadsworth. Physically. So while I can't promise that losing that relationship or losing that job is a setup for a better relationship or a better job, I can promise that God will use the loss of those things in your life to do something spiritually. Well, we're celebrating our first year we had to move out of our old sanctuary, and we are uh, meeting at the Wadsworth Performing Arts Center now. And we, I think in September, we had our first year anniversary there. And uh, I got to thank Adam Barton, our pastor, because he really makes it go. He is uh, dynamic, and uh, all I do is run the camera and the sound, and he, he really produces <laughs> the magic, so to speak. But uh, I want to thank WCTV and uh, for the opportunity to spread an inspirational message, and especially in these days, you know, uh, we really need it. Appreciate it. Thank you. And now our next category is Best Performing Arts, and the honorable mention goes to Wadsworth Community Band, the Independence Day Concert. Jim Kovacs is accepted. The runner-up for Performing Arts goes to Love is in the Air, produced by the Take 55 Plus Players. On behalf of all of the cast, I am accepting this award and the most thank you to WCTV. They do all of our videotaping and we love it. This is our second one in a row. We won last year too, so I'm very delighted. Thank you. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Performing Arts category, and that award goes to the Canton Men's Chorus, produced by Trinity United Church of Christ. Make sure Trinity gets that award. Our next category is Best Public Awareness, and the honorable mention goes to Discover Wadsworth, The Inner Urban Trail, produced by Danielle Rich and Harry Stark. The runner-up in the Best Public Awareness category goes to Wadsworth Meals on Wheels, produced by Susan Horner. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Public Awareness category. And that award goes to Giving Grace, the Giving Doll, produced by Jan Householder and Joe Gaines. Every donation goes right back to the dolls. So that can be fabric or supplies for our dolls. And, and you can see some of the dolls have just like ribbons and, and little pieces of lace. Or um, it could be people volunteering to just help make the doll. Jan and Joe. Thank you very much. Um, I'm a uh, 
former home ec teacher at Wadsworth High School and started the program. And uh, it's 11 years ago, and we are at uh, 41,000 dolls that we have made. So thanks to the Wadsworth community for all their support and donations, and, and thank you, WCTV. I'm just proud to be a part of uh, the organization. And just to tell you, she started it all. It's all of her dreams. And uh, Jan Householder has done an awful lot of work for an awful lot of great people out there. Thank you. Now, I know a lot of you are probably uh, avid viewers of PBS and know the program Sewing with Nancy. And Jan was actually a guest on, on, on that show. So that was a, a great accomplishment for her and good uh, thing for the Giving Doll program. Our next category is Best Promotional. And the honorable mention goes to Wadsworth Opoly Live, show number eight, produced by Roger Polk and Tom Stugmeyer. All right, the runner-up in the best promotional category goes to Bible Readings and Hymns promo produced by David Kenny. And now for the Clapper winner in the best promotional category, and that award goes to Discover Wadsworth Blue Tip Parade and Festival, produced by Danielle Rich. Since 1973, the city of Wadsworth has put on a festival to kind of celebrate the city of Wadsworth and to celebrate kind of the community and give the opportunity for the community to kind of come together. The festival is a five. Well, thank you again. I, I'm new to the community. I work for the city and I'm the marketing coordinator. And this town has been really welcoming and that was my first blue tip parade and it was really fun. So I was happy to put that together. Thank you. Our next category is best special event and the honorable mention goes to Medina County Seal Design Recognition produced by Mike Kovac. Runner-up for Best Special Event is Walking the Blue Tip Parade, produced by Roger Polk. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Special Event category, and that award goes to Props and Pistons, produced by Bob Parmelin. The instructor's son, whose name is Zach, he soloed last year on his 14th birthday. And then we have Jackson here, who also soloed two weeks ago. Jackson, was what, what, how was that experience? Uh, it was a thrilling experience. I, I love it. Uh, really, what I should do here is call up James. James, come, stand up. James did the, the camera work on that, and I, I appreciate it. That's what made the as good as it was. This, James's camera work, so I appreciate that very much, and I appreciate everything that WCTV does for the city of Wadsworth, so thank you. Thank you. Our next category is Best Sports and Recreation, and an honorable mention goes to Created Outdoors Number 13, produced by Doug the Hardpark. Runner-up in that category goes to the WHS Varsity Volleyball produced by Dan Witchie and the My Three Dads production. Dan, Brian, and Todd, you can all come up. So all of the 
uh, varsity girls basketball games over the last few years, you can thank these guys for all of that uh, footage. So we greatly appreciate everything they've done. Okay, now for the Clapper winner in the best sports and recreation category. And that Clapper goes to Let's Go Adventure Series Pistol Shoot, produced by Roger Polk. Good. Don't miss a target by missing by not even seeing it. Good. Keep going. Stay on the path. Stay on the mode path. Look at your mag. Look at your gun. Look at this guy, 15 years old, shooting nine millimeters suppressed out there with the big boys. Out there. As safe as can be, I had him in the indoor range at first for about a half an hour, just checking. He knew when safety, safety, safety. He had it all. So I said, you can come out with us. So he went out with them, and uh, it was just awesome, just fantastic. Hunt with your kids. You won't hunt for them. There you go. What do you think say? Go ahead. Thanks uh, for Roger letting me shoot his guns, and it was pretty fun. Good deal. You know, I noticed uh, recently there's a couple of properties up for sale next to Roger. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to our next category. Uh, well, first we'd like to uh, announce um, uh, everybody that's helped us with the sports productions this year. Uh, this year, the football games uh, received over 2,600 views on our BBIT site, and the girls' basketball games received over nearly 3,500 views. And uh, that's just online views, let alone the, the times that people watched it actually in their homes on TV. So I'd like to thank all the Grizzly uh, sports crew, Phil Dell, James Bernard, John Bernard, Drew Bixler, and also Justin Bernard, too, helped as well, and all the announcers. So thank you, everybody, very much. Roger Wright uh, and the announcers. So. Oh, yeah, and Gary Bernard, too. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, our next category is Best Instructional, and the honorable mention goes to Let's Go Adventure Series, Preparing for Wadsworth Opoly 50-50 Split, produced by Roger Polk. The runner-up goes to Awakening with Soulspirational, Healing Hands and Breath, produced by Tish Nowitzki. And now for the Clapper winner and the best instructional, and that award goes to Wine with Wanda, produced by Wanda Hayes. Prosecco is dry, it's effervescent, and it's Italy's version of, well, champagne, for a lack of a better word. And I can tell you that Prosecco is perfect for this time of year with grilling, the hot summer days. Thank you very, very much. Thank you to WCTV. Thank you, Johanna, John, and John. I, you know, I, I had this as a little vision to do because I watched a show from BBC. I said, maybe I can do that. But the star of the show was always the wine. I am crazy in love with wine. It's liquid poetry. <laughs> And uh, this really is impossible without Haynes Media producing and editing it. Sterling Haynes, uh, who is my uh, uh, graduate from Malone University, com arts degree uh, media person. Um, thank you guys so much. I really love being a part of this. Season two is going to start in uh, mid-January to late January. Thanks so much. I appreciate this. <laughs> Our next category is Best Informational, and the honorable mention goes to Let's Go Adventure Series, Emily and Broco, Champion Handler and Canine, produced by Roger Polk. Runner-up for Best Informational goes to Animal Crackers, Ticks and Lyme Disease, produced by Dr. Larry and Sally Markley. And now for the Clapper winner, for for Best Informational, and that award goes to Chamber News, produced by Janie Parrish in the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. 
Hollywood. Yeah. And happily married husband and wife week. Oh my gosh, a lot of people think Joe and I are married because we spend so much time together. I don't think anybody really thinks so. <laughs> Maybe you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just me. Oh. Wow, what do you even say after that? That's awesome. Thank you. I'm wearing the Gap, Goodwill. Yeah, because you know what? When you're on the red carpet, you get to say that, who you're wearing. So anyway, so thanks to WCTV, and you guys are great. Thanks. I got a trophy. Our next category is Best Talk Show, and the honorable mention goes to Law Talk with guest Judge, Judge Tom Teodosio, produced by John Celebrezzi. The runner-up for the best talk show goes to Inside Wadsworth, The Grand Marshals, produced by Jim Kovacs. And now for the Clapper winner for the best talk show, and that award goes to Right and Left, Election Wrap-Up, produced by John Grom. Obama's press secretary was out there that he would, would not call on certain people. Mm -hmm. And I noticed the first few questions went to very <coughs> conservative and actually not mainstream, but the questions were legitimate. We're going to have some outtakes from our right and left. Uh, it's pretty civil when the camera's running, but uh, after we're done, we have sort of our favorite saying, and it goes like, Patty, you're ignorant. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you had to watch Saturday Night Live with to get Jane Curtin and Dan Aykroyd, but we'll move on. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Our next category is Best Entertainment, and the honorable mention goes to Everyone's Irish Today by the Take 55 Plus Players. <laughs> Would all of the cast take 55 plus players, please stand. Thank you. And the runner up in the best entertainment category goes to the RSVP program, Frogs and Amphibians, produced by the RSVP TV crew. And now for the Clapper winner for Best Entertainment, and that award goes to Wadsworthopoly Live, The Scavenger Hunt, produced by Roger Polk and Tom, Tom Stugmeyer. 97.1 at WCTV, who are you? It's Michelle. All right, Michelle, how are you? Good. Good. All right. We're at the gazebo. You're at the gazebo, all okay, right. Okay, now yeah. here's your clues. The uh, young man okay. stands guard watching is the, is the boy with the leaky boot. Right. Roger and Tom. <laughs> Emily, you need to come up here. Uh, <laughs> you need to come up here. We couldn't have done this without you. Yeah. Th th this was our triple broadcast where we, we were at, uh, we were at yeah. WCTV, we were on the radio, and we were also at City Hall for this one. So We were on Facebook Live, yeah, yeah. live TV, live radio, plus you were at City Hall. Yeah, John hooked up a split screen that we could do, something that we don't think has ever been done. Uh, in media like that, having all three of those like it. So uh, yeah, it was really cool. Really cool. What, yeah, what did you have to say? You know, I just, it was a great experience. It was a first for all of us. We didn't know what we were doing, but it was awesome. We didn't so, know yeah. what we were doing <laughs> yeah. in the key phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't. Right? Uh, 
Uh -huh. So uh, the neat thing, I want to say hi to everybody on Facebook Live. I know that uh, the Marines are watching out in California tonight. Um, and if you found one of the Wadsworth Opoly game pieces in your center display of your table, you just won $5,000 cash. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to put that oh. in there. Sorry, never mind. It's on my hat. Missed it. All right, Tom, go ahead. Oh. oh, well, again, thanks to everybody that uh, that participated in all of our scavenger hunts this year. I think we sold close to what uh, 350 or 400 of the uh, Wadsworthopoly games in our uh, to uh, we 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 had a few left from the the uh, bicentennial, and we uh, were able to uh, sell all those this year. So again, we had a lot of fun. And again, thanks to Roger and WCTV and everybody else that uh, allowed us to do that. So thank you. Yes, thank you, WCTV. That, that sauce on the chicken has got to be like crack cocaine. <laughs> You've got to get the recipe for that. Thank you. Right. And next, we have one of the most highly coveted awards, the Host with the Most Award. The staff of WCTV selects the recipient based on the three P's of being a host. Preparedness, presentation, professionalism, professionalism of their production, and the interviews they conduct. We would like to invite the host with the most of Health and Happiness Show last year, 2016, uh, Janet Hawkins, to come up and present this year's award. We hope this year's recipient never retires as a producer and a host. Whether this host is interviewing seniors about volunteering in the community, organizing programs about local authors, or learning about nature with our local naturalists, she always does a fantastic job of connecting with the audience. We are so happy that she RSVP'd and is here with us this evening. It is my pleasure to present the 2017 WCTV host with the most award too. When is the right so when is the right time to communicate about an emergency? Certainly the message to that was now. And to help us do that, our guest today is Matt Pista, and he is the safety director for the city of Wadsworth. Matt, it's so wonderful to have you with us. I was just so happy I could even get here tonight. <laughs> so um, I just love the crew that we work with. Bill and Natalie Dell uh, have been with the program for about 20 years. And Sharon uh, Moritz with her husband Dave. They've been so helpful with helping us all find the guests who can come and really provide good information and entertainment to our wonderful Wadsworth audience. So thank you, thank you very much. Okay, our next awards are for uh, our video on demand streaming site, uh, Vibit, and now we'll present the diamond, platinum, and golden disc awards that are awarded for programs with the most views on my.vibit.com. In 2016, in 2016, we received over 49,000 views on Bybit. In 2017, this year, we received nearly 70,000, 68,519 to be exact. Because of the increase in online viewing this year, we'll be presenting diamond, platinum, and golden disc awards for both series programs and single programs. So let's take a look at the uh, single programs. The golden disc award for the single program with the third most hits on Bybit goes to Medina County Homeschool Christian Co-op Talent Show and Choir produced by Jennifer Collins, which had 462 views. Accepting is Kelly and Tish. Trish, I'm sorry. Um, first of all, Trish Connell couldn't be here, but she's my co-choir director. And um, I would like to thank um, WCTV for letting us use all your gadgets and gizmos. I hope they came back safely. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and finally, I'd like to thank um, everybody from Rhymer Road Baptist that allows us to use their building all the time. Um, we appreciate it very much. Thank you. The Platinum Disc Award for the single program with the second most hits on Bybit goes to Walking the Blue Tip Parade, produced by Roger Polk, and had 761 views. I love doing that. I missed it one or two years because of overtime at work, but had to make sure I schedule around that. It is so much fun just talking to everybody, especially the kids down through there. It's just so much fun. Thank you. And now the Diamond Disc Award for the single program with the most hits on Bybit goes to the High Street State Route 94 project, the update of July 18th, produced by Harry Stark and Jim Kovacs, with 1,213 views. I can't believe that many. I can't believe that many people would watch me and Jim uh, on a high. On a, they were really watching me. Uh, okay. uh, this is great. Uh, I always like doing shows with Jim because he always asks me questions I don't know the answers to. Um, but uh, no, this is really great. Thank you. Well, I, made, I, I made a joke last time. It's time to thank WCTV because uh, really even have done these 94 shows. Really, John Matting, uh, he was the, the camera operator for us, always told us where to go, so he made us look good. John, thanks so much for all your help. And thanks, WC. And now on to the Disc Awards for the series shows. The Golden Disc Award for the series program with the third most hits on Bybit goes to Believing in the Beyond, produced by Peggy Pogan, with 1,906 views. I just want to thank everybody, everywhere. Thank you very much. I ne she always asks me if I want to say so if I wants to say something. So I will tonight. Thank you very much for ev for this. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Platinum Disc Award for the series program with the second most hits on Bybit goes to Chamber News, produced by Janie Parrish in the Wadsworth Area, Cha Area Chamber of Commerce with 2,423 views. Wow. We love glitter. Oh, thank you. Just thanks. Yeah, thanks to my chamber board and Joanna and just thanks. There we go. Yep. Okay. The Diamond Disc Award for the series program with the most hits on Bybit goes to who else but our favorite polka guys, Gene and Joe, the Grand Marshals of the 2017 Blue Tip Parade. Their program was viewed 3,973 times. I'm real thankful that people like polka music. That's great. <laughs> I got news for you folks. We are going to increase our viewing this year. I have a secret. I just spoke to Wine with Wanda. <laughs> and I think we're going to increase our viewing considerably. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, these are our last awards for the evening, the Outstanding Achievement Award Director's Chairs. Uh, these director chairs are presented for producers and volunteers in appreciation for their longtime commitment to WCTV, 
To date, we have presented 42 chairs, and tonight we'll represent two more. This recipient is newly retired, so we hope that they'll spend their time relaxing in their WCTV director's chairs for many years to come. We appreciated their continued support of WCTV. They were instrumental in the building of our new location at the community center and setting up all the technology and the conduit and everything for the new stadium, which makes our sports productions possible. They have served in the Wadsworth City School System for many years and as a member of our cable commission. We hope that they won't be too mad that his wife and Janie for bringing him here under false pretenses, but it's my pleasure to present his, this Outstanding Achievement Award Director's Chair to Joe Magnaca. Our next recipient has been a producer and a supporter of WCTV for more than 20 years. Although the audience in his everyday job may not always like what he has to say, his WCTV audience appreciates the legal briefs he provides for the good and safety of our community. Don't judge him because his son likes to impersonate Michael Jackson or that once a year he lies around downtown like a zombie. Move over, Judge Judy. It's my pleasure to present this Outstanding Achievement Award Director's Chair to Judge Stephen McElvain. Thank you both very much. Thank you very much. This is a, very much a surprise. Thank you, Alex. But, but thank you very much. It, I'm very honored. And it's same. Very, it, it's a very much a surprise. Thanks for John, Joanna, and everybody else. Uh, even the construction project many years ago was it wouldn't have been possible without the help that you guys provided, what you needed, and everything. It's so easy for me to say go do something. It was hard for somebody to think it through. So I appreciate all the work you guys did on all the things. So thank you very much. Alrighty, it's hard to believe, but man, this, uh, this Clapper Awards is gone and over with again already. So uh, before we go, I'd like to thank one more time a big round of applause for the staff of Suprema Cafe and Windfall Industries. Thank you very much. If you haven't visited the cafe at the Suprema Senior Center, please do so. The food and staff are fantastic. And remember, if you need help with your holiday parties, contact Kimberly and at the cafe, and she has all the great ideas that she can do for your party. We also appreciate Tom Stugmeyer for taking the pictures tonight. And before, before we go, I'd like to ask that all the Clapper winners, the host with the most, the Milestone and the Outstanding Achievement Award winners and DISC Award winners uh, remain up here, come up here so we can get a group photo with everyone. And before we leave, the other thing that you may have noticed is that we're not running the cameras ourselves this year. So thanks to White Balance Media and all their guys for doing the production this year. Thank you very much.